It's got some party tricks. Look at this. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? How does a cat sound? <coughs> so funny. This, <coughs> this. There it is. That's so cool. So hello people, this is Moose Carblock and in front of me is the brand new Mercedes-Benz CLE Coupe here as a CLE 300 in this beautiful Patagonia red. I've got an absolutely amazing spec, fully equipped and in today's review I will show you the exterior, show you the interior and then take it out for a drive to tell you how this thing is to live with and how it is to drive. So let's start right off here at the front. So people, the CLE 300 starts from 68,544 euros here in Germany, but when you go to the configurator and start specking one, it will start actually at 61,000 euros. So Mercedes is already giving you a little discount, which is quite nice. My car here is around 92,000 euros because it is fully specced. It just doesn't have the night package, I think, but it looks still so classy and so good. Just check it out here from the side and let's go here to the front. So the CLE is the new mix of C-Class Coupe and E-Class Coupe and I think they did a great job on that because it drives better than a C-Class Coupe and also better than an E-Class Coupe. They basically took the best out of both worlds and combined it into one vehicle which is actually longer than an E-Class Coupe, believe it or not. This thing looks smaller, but it is actually longer. We've got the AMG Line Premium Plus on this one. When this car was specced, it was around 6,900 euros, and now it's 7,800 euros. Basically, it gives you the AMG front, the beautiful digital light, the panoramic roof, the Burmester 3D system. So it has a lot of options already in that AMG Line package which is quite nice if you ask me. We've got a Mercedes-Benz star here in black looking super, super amazing. The grill here with the stars. We've got some little plastic here at the front also with Mercedes stars. So it, quite, so it actually looks quite decent. Behind those star grills is actually cooling, but it's currently closed and it will only open when our 2.0 four cylinder with 281 combined horsepower needs some extra cooling. Why did I say combined horsepower? Because this is a mild hybrid with 258 horsepower and 22 horsepower is coming from a mild hybrid system which makes this thing very nice driving because when it's like a start stop, when it's doing the start stop or something like this, it turns on and off without you noticing it. And that's due to the mild hybrid, which helps a lot. Also in the sport mode, it has like a little over boost function where it pushes all its 22 horsepower extra to us. So it's actually quite, quite nice. You can't drive a single meter electric with it, but it's quite some nice assistance. We've got the aggressive hood here with the power domes. I think this looks super, super amazing. The CLE 300 always comes as a formatic. The Stronic Star here, at the front the camera we've got a little 360 degree camera here which is actually perfect we've got a really good cruise control here the digital light at night it makes such an amazing animation just check it out here you have like two different variants you can choose from the star wave and i think the digital rain or something like this and they both look so so cool i've got the 20 inch wheel spec to mine which i absolutely love they look super super cool and they're also aerodynamically functional as you can see they got like a little disc here i've got the sport brake fitted to mine so as you can see we've got holes in our brake for better braking and better brake performance the patagonia red looks very nice on this one it's actually a manufacturer color an amg color if you say so look at this i think it suits this car really a lot but I think a graphite gray Magnum or an Alpine gray would suit this car the best, but it looks super, super good in this Patagonia red. And they've also showed us the CLE 53 Cabriolet in this beautiful color. As you can see, we've got chrome here on the exterior, only two doors, the normal Mercedes door handle, which is actually quite handy to have, not the one that sticks out like on the AMG GT, S-Class, SL, whatever. We've got the normal door, 275 tires actually at the back, which is quite, quite nice. Continental Echo tires for better fuel economy, me and let's move on to the back of this beautiful CLE coupe. So people, before I forget it to mention, before we move on to the beautiful back, the 0 to 100 is in 6.2 seconds. The top speed is 250 kilometers per hour and the car weighs 1,855 kilos. Look at this rear, the best looking part in my opinion, despite the front already looking perfect. It's a very beautiful car, the new CLE and, and the AMGs look even, even better than this one here in front of me. So those are the new lights here of the CLE. They look so, so cool. Also, they make an amazing animation here at night. A black bar here in the middle. 
I don't know why they did that. Maybe for a face of CLE they will be connected. I don't know. I've just said that right now myself. When you step some steps back, you can see how long this thing actually is. Just look at it here from the side and from the back. It looks super, super amazing. We got an electronic trunk on this one, thank God. We got the diffuser here for the AMG package, which gives us these exhausts. They are sadly not real, but it still looks good from far away. And design-wise, they look very, very good. This little diffuser here, and also here the sensors and the camera pops out from the mercedes badge which looks also super super cool when that happens so people check out the trunk here we can access it with our foot we can kick the trunk and it will open up or we can open it up by the key here press this button and then the trunk will open up look at this 420 liters are greeting us here which is quite quite decent for a coupe you can also open up this part here and store some stuff down there it's also very very nice electronically to close of course you can also lock the car per button and you can close it with the key of course look at this i'm now closing it with the key and here is the beautiful back of the cle coupe the cle 300 and i hope i can bring you the amg very very soon so let's now jump inside and talk about the interior of this beautiful, fully specced CLE 300 formatic coupe. So people, moving on to the interior of this beautiful CLE coupe, which is fully equipped. As you can see, we've got heated seats and ventilated seats and memory seats. The amazing Nappa leather here also with the white accents. I absolutely love it. Our window switches, our mirror settings, Mercedes Benz here. It looks super, super good. AMG floor mats and look at these seats. They look like straight out of an S-Class Maybach Coupe or whatever. They look so, so good and they are very, very comfortable and soft. Look at this luxurious interior we've got here. Looking super, super good. Our panoramic roof, of course. Let's go to the back before we jump inside. The back is quite easy accessible. You just pull this leader here and then you pull it to the front and then the seat already will go to the front and give us an option to jump in the back. And this is actually my first time now. So people, inside of the back of the CLE, I actually got quite some headspace. I'm not hitting the roof yet. My hair is touching it, but I'm a grown adult. So for children, it's absolutely perfect. Or 16 year olds, maybe it is absolutely perfect back here. It's so, so comfortable as well. And cup holders in here. We've got here a little storage compartment here. Also a climate vents, our Brewmaster 3D with a little compartment for a bottle or something like this quite quite nice iso fix here and also a armrest which is super nice on journeys you have a place to rest your arm here your elbow which is quite good let's pull this back before people say i'm cheating look at this this is it from the back the back of the cle quite an amazing space especially when you've got this view those amazing looking seats looking so so good they look so nice so luxurious so good looking just look at it it's straight out of a Maybach honestly they look so so good so people let's get out of here normally you would have a person that would do it for you the one standing outside but I've got to do it myself so let's get out of here and then go to the front now and talk to you about the front so people, now that we've discovered that the CLE is an actual 2 plus 2 that you can use, let's check it out from the interior here. Look at this. First of all, I absolutely love the wood. I had the option to choose one with carbon fiber in here or the wood, and I don't regret choosing the wood at all. It's actually real wood. It looks super, super luxurious, like a boat, like a yacht feeling here. Really, really amazing. This is our new steering wheel. As you know, we, we control this screen with the left side and this screen with the right side. Let's fire up the ignition. So heated seats, ventilated seats, memory seats, as I've mentioned. This screen here, this, this touchpad here controls this screen, as you can see. And on the right side, you control this screen here, which is also very, very nice and very handy. They found a quite good solution for these two screens with those settings. And look at this, people. This is one of my favorite features. Hey, Mercedes, I need a massage. I'm listening. All right, I'm switching on the massage for you. Isn't that amazing? And look at this. It's actually a real, real massage. I don't know if you can see it, how it's massaging, but it's actually a really good massage. The whole seat is vibrating from the bottom and the back and not just a fake massage like in many, many other cars. It's actually a real massage and real decent and it helps you at long distance journeys. What I also like is this. Look at this here. It brings you the belt. That's also so, so cool. And look at this here. Hey, Mercedes, I don't need the massage anymore. Okay, 
Just deactivating the massage for you now. Yeah, I deactivated it now. You can switch her off if you don't want her, but look at these seats. They look so, so good. Panoramic roof here. We can control it here with the swipe. Look at this. I'm swiping now and now it will go back down and we can also tap it and then it will open up the glass. Let's just do it here for reference. We can tap it here and now the roof is opened. It is super, super easy to use. And since I have a fully equipped car, you have to check this out. As you can see, this is the infotainment system of the E-Class because this is the CLE, the C-Class combined with the E-Class and the CLE has its own seats. Those are only for the CLE. And we've got the E-Class infotainment system with C-Class looks and more luxury. What that means that we have the E-Class infotainment system means we got this. Look at this. We've got TikTok, Angry Birds, Zoom, in everything. And you can actually play Angry Birds here. Look at this. Just look at this. Isn't that funny? I don't think you really need it, but there is a lot of stuff you don't need. And this is very, very cool, especially because there is hybrid CLEs coming and maybe you are charging it a little bit and then whilst you are charging or whilst you are waiting for someone you can just play Angry Birds here or it's just a quite nice party trick in general this Angry Birds feature we have here it is quite quite nice quite fun I actually managed to do the level first try very very fun that you can play Angry Birds in here you can switch the mode here with the dynamic with the dynamic button then we have Echo We've got Comfort, we got Sport and we got Individual. And in the Echo, it will actually use its mild hybrid system the best. It will switch off the engine whilst you are driving, saving fuel and being very, very smart. It does it very smart and you don't feel the car switching on or off. We've got this console here in Piano Black. When you open this up, we've got the USB-C ports here, cup holders, chargers for our phone, also charger for our uh, charger for our key, charger for our phone. In here, there's also space with USB-C ports. It's super, super nice, super smart, this car. Look at this, for example, we've got this kind of menu and then if you want to go deep in the car for the seats, for example, you press the comfort and then you get everything around the seats, the ambient lightings. You can even switch on some programs. Let's turn this refresh on, for example, and it will play some music. It's turned on the ventilation seats and it is very, very funny and cool, this car. If you want to access your normal settings, you go to settings and then you got everything of your vehicle, every vehicle setting and stuff like this. So people, I think we've talked enough. Let's go and take out the new CLE 300 for a drive. So people, let's now take out the new CLE 300 for Matic Coupe for a drive. I can't wait. And the first thing you will instantly notice is that we've got the rear wheel steering on this one. And it makes this car turn way, way sharper than it should be for its length and width. Because it really feels like a very small, nimble, agile car. So people, the steering is really, really nice and soft. And also we've got the Nappa leather steering wheel here. So it feels like an S-Class steering wheel. Hey, Mercedes. Yes. Please turn on my heated seat. Seat heating is switched on. It's so nice. It's so nice to have this feature, especially for features you don't find really fast in the menu. You can tell her to do it. And that's quite nice. Tell people we are currently in the comfort mode. Let's switch it to the sport mode really quick. And as you can see, it instantly shifts down because it's, it's obviously going to be more sporty. And look at this. We've got quite a nice info screen here, which shows us how much of the accelerator I'm using and how much of the brake I'm using. This is, we know this normally from the AMGs. So it's so nice that this normal CLE 300 has it. And let's give it full throttle here. It really got a decent pull to it. It really got a decent pull to it. It's not a slow car. It's got 281 horsepower combined. And in the sport display, it will also show us when the boost is being used by the mild hybrid system. And we've also got this here, the engine screen. This is straight out of AMG. This is straight out of AMG and I really like it. The kilowatt, the newton meters, it's showing us everything. The boost pressure down there, the hour temperatures. I really, really like it that the CLE 300 also gets these nice features. Look at this here. And there it showed us also when the overboost was active. So this car is giving you information about everything that's happening right now to you. Also, the seat is so comfortable. I absolutely love it. I took this car on a little long journey and it was it was so nice. It was really nice. And heated seats, ventilated seats, massage seats, everything you could wish for in a car like this.
So look at this, people. I will now give it full throttle and it will say over boost active here. Look at this. There it is. That's so cool. That's the 22 horsepower boost we have from the mild hybrid system giving us this over boost. And the four cylinder actually doesn't sound that bad for a four cylinder. It doesn't really sound like a riced up GTI. It has a decent four cylinder tone to it. We know that Mercedes builds the best four cylinders. And when you lift off the throttle, it will obviously charge. It's charging the mild hybrid system. And I will show you in a second why that is really useful to us. But now let's continue the sporty driving here. So look at this, I've now put the classic screen on and I will now put on our cruise control. And it also has a very nice lane assist. So if it will detect the road in a second here, I can basically rely fully on the vehicle. Now, look at this. It will take corners, no problem at all. It also will stop before a roundabout. It knows the speeds and adjusts to the speed sign coming. Look at this now, it will adjust because I'm currently exiting here it will adjust itself to 100 by itself look at this my hands are off and it's adjusted itself to 100 by itself going there currently and when i switch the car to echo this is where the mild hybrid system will play because it will actually switch off the vehicle the engine whilst we are driving so we will check out the camera system here as you can see it's basically telling me everything I need to know and when I now put it into the reverse gear it will automatically open up the backup camera and we can also put a view like this here which is quite handy and there is also a complete 360 degree view which is accessible I think when I press where was it where was the complete 360 view maybe on this one auto hold yes like this look at this now we have a complete 360 view of our camera doesn't that look crazy? It looks super crazy. And let's now continue our drive here. Let's get up to speed here again. It's using all of its torque and the overboost, as you can see. And yeah, it's really, it's good driving. You don't, it, it has a solid feel. Even though it's a four cylinder, it doesn't feel like a small raspy engine. It really feels solid when driving on a road like this. We sadly can't play Angry Birds whilst we are driving. You have to get an E-Class for that. There the passenger can play on its passenger display. But here you can't use it because we are driving as you can see. Hey Mercedes. I'm listening. How do you like BMW? Good friends from Bavaria. It's so funny, it's got so many features. It's basically like Siri from the iPhone. There's always something new you find in this CLE. And it is basically the perfect combination of C-Class and E-Class. E-Class entertainment system with the Angry Birds and stuff, the new ones with the app and C-Class looks here but with materials from a super high quality E-Class because we've got this beautiful spec here and also in the Echo mode the car really is, as you can see here, it switched off its engine now and it keeps that for very long until I tap the throttle or the brake again it glides just away saving a lot of fuel like this you can actually drive it on a fuel consumption of around 7 liters which is very good for a 281 horsepower petrol big coupe weighing 1.85 tons it's very good to drive it at 7 liters and when you push it, of course, it's going to use a lot more, but that's with every car. But when you drive like this on a B road or maybe on an autobahn and let it switch off a couple of times, like here again, right now it's switched off the engine again, it will actually be such a very, very fuel efficient car. Unbelievably fuel efficient. For, for being a 281 horsepower four cylinder petrol turbo, the four cylinder turbos always like to drink. What is also quite amazing about the CLE is the 9 gear transmission. Because of that transmission, we basically use the same fuel at 140 km per hour as with 120 km per hour because you shift into that 9th gear and you stay at around 7.5 liters, which is great, great for a car like this. And it's got a lot of party tricks, great, great ambient lightings, really amazing ambient lightings at night. I can show you a clip here, just look at this. And, and it's got some party tricks, look at this. Hey Mercedes! How may I help you? How does a cat sound? <coughs> so funny. This, 
this vehicle is so funny and it's very good to drive if you are thinking of getting a CLE I will tell you 100% to get one I hope I can review the CLE 53 AMG really soon look at this here it's now again the engine is off the mild hybrid system is so great I hope I can get my hands on the CLE 53 AMG soon the CLE 63 AMG might come with a V8 most likely come with a V8 but we have to wait for that it will be such an amazing vehicle thank you so much for watching my CLE 300 formatic review people and I hope I'll see you in the next one until then goodbye